In the 1958 Oscar winning tearjerker I Want to Live, Barbara Graham was painted as a saint who took a wrong turn. But that's Hollywood. She was a cold blooded killer who paid for her crimes in the green room at San Quentin in 1955. Still, executions of women are rare in the U.S. As of last July, there were 53 women on American death rows. 16 have been toe tagged since 1976. The most recent was Kelly Gissendancer. She was sent to a Georgia morgue on September 30th, 2015. She had a hitman clip her hubby. She turned down a plea deal and instead got the needle. But there's more doomed dames. Take Carrie Lynn Dalton, 65. In 1988, meth head Dalton and two pals tortured junkie Irene May to death in San Diego. They used a cast iron frying pan and a syringe juiced with battery acid. Her body has never been found. Oh, and then there's Blanche Moore, 85. Kindly old Blanche was a frequent flyer in the Black Widow sweepstakes. She was convicted of slipping arsenic into her boyfriend's drink and was sentenced to death in 1986. Cops peg her death count at three. Antoinette Frank, 46, may be the worst of the worst. On March 4th, 1995, the rookie New Orleans cop and her boyfriend murdered off-duty cop Ronnie Williams and two members of the family that owned a Vietnamese diner. She is, without a doubt, the most cold-hearted person I've ever met, said New Orleans detective uh, Eddie Rance at the time. Then there's Darlie Rudier, 48. Darlie lived large. The free-spending blonde even sprayed silly string all over her two young sons' graves. Eight days after, she had stabbed them to death. Janine Snyder, 38, was love-struck by her girlfriend's dad, Michael Thornton. The California girl would lure girls back to hotel rooms for rape and murder. They grabbed Michelle Curran on April 17, 2001. Her naked body was found the next day with a bullet hole in her forehead. Deborah Brown, 55. Brown was the coke to serial killer Alton Coleman's bourbon. During the summer of 1984, the twisted twosome embarked on a four-state murder rampage, strangling seven people. Coleman got the big adios in 2002. Do you know this man? International law enforcement are looking for any information that leads to the identification and arrest of this creep. Cops came into possession of images showing this monster abusing young kids on the internet. His whereabouts are unknown. He's white, in his early 40s, has brown eyes and a large mole in the middle of his left cheek. If you know his whereabouts, contact your local police department or the FBI.